Okay, starting to record. We are at the place where the ride started the last time. So we're gonna do it on our own and we're gonna have some fun. Okay, hang on. We gotta be rolling. We're done. Oh. I just need to check out. Okay, yeah, it's going to continue on to where we need to go. I was just wondering if he was not able to figure out our next destination and the route but I think he's gonna do it cool here we go yeah so yesterday uh, I went to the uh, motorcycle convention in, uh, in the Dallas downtown uh, motorcycle show I guess and it was a lot of fun <laughs> uh, saw some cool bikes saw some shows saw different kinds of stuff but uh, what impressed me most was the uh, 90s scrambler, which was interesting. Maybe for a second bike, maybe. A commuter kind of a bike, which uh, I guess it's called a naked bike, which doesn't have much of stuff. But uh, that might be something, which should be fun. Okay, so, and uh, it was fun meeting up the guys at the uh, pancake house and then we took the train and went so okay let's, let's focus on the road here ah so he seems like he thinks we are still stuck in the other route, so I might as well make sure we are on the right track. Yep. That's what I need to do. I need to go forward to the next destination I probably need to stop there and reset it otherwise he doesn't know he thinks I'm still going back to the Q trip okay I say go buddy okay okay there we go Okay, now we're on our way. Okay, let's see what roads they got for us. It's supposed to be the back roads uh, going behind Prosper and uh, Salina and other places. So, yep, this is back roads of McKinney and Prosper. This is a, probably a good place to hone your skills. Don't lean on the handlebars and don't hold on tightly to the steering wheel or handlebar, I guess. Really, ten miles an hour. 
shooting me. beautiful it's beautiful uh, all these uh, small roads and back roads eventually I guess gonna get built out <laughs> but for now it is a good place to practice your motorcycling skills all the turns and the twists uh, some of the turns were a little tight okay so, uh, so that's something you need to focus on in terms of what kind of speed you need to take at the curves and where you want to brake and stuff like that so that's something I need to so you gotta go straight right buddy Pretty good. The back roads of uh, McKinney and Prosper. Okay, I better focus on the road. It seems like interesting. So the key, what I'm noticing is I'm doing most of the things right. The only thing I need to worry about is uh, the speeds uh, entering a corner. These are really sp slow speeds, so I don't want to slow down uh, too much before the corner, and also not uh, change my gears that early. So that's something to look at and uh, that's the only thing I think I need to focus on. That way I get more speed uh, getting into the corners and getting out and timing it correctly. Like for example here. So here I just break and then, and, and then roll right here. That's pretty good. Yeah, so that's, that's what I need to figure out exactly point at which uh, I need to switch to the right gear and the right speed. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Who knew Texas has these kind of roads just right next to our backyard? Look at that. Look at that view. It's beautiful. Here, right here, just need to brake and then slow and then roll the throttle right here. And then roll the throttle right here. Yep, I guess third gear is pretty nice. I don't have to worry about it. That's a beautiful road. I'm getting. Go easy, easy on it, I guess. But beautiful. Beautiful roads. Okay, go to the next gear. It's fantastic. I just love it. There's a creek. Okay, I'd probably just stay in the third. And that way, you have better control of the speed and I can actually accelerate through the corner. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, wow. Okay, that's Custer Road. It's our good old Custer. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. 
the reason I'm stopping in mid sentence is because I'm getting instructions from the GPS and I'm having to keep track of what's going on. But uh, that's something we learned on the cornering here. That's good. This is what I like to do. Stop, I'll look around, and then get going when you want to. Oh, it's beautiful outside. Just looking at all the scenery around me. Hitting Preston Road! Good old Preston Road! Prosper Gunner! Ah, so we are north of Salina. Beautiful. mile an hour speed, that's good. Not too bad. Let's speed limit is 50. Getting the hang of the sweepers. Uh, that's getting a lot easier now. And looking ahead on the curve. I get I see you get better traction when you actually accelerate through the curve. Much better traction. Better lean angles, better traction. Okay, some back roads again. Interesting bird on the tree. The good thing is he's taking me through all these uh, small roads and giving me good practice on changing gears, picking the right speed, looking around. So I think that's a good exercise.
U turn. That road seemed really small, so I wasn't sure if we need to take that one. But I guess we need to.